Where's Perry is written on this wanted poster hanging on a tree. And we see this little hand reach up and tear the poster down. And the music kicks in all. And the opening credits start like one of those cool 80s TV shows with a voiceover. You know. A fugitive semi-aquatic special forces amateur stage magician framed for a crime he didn't commit. The 1865 assassination of Abraham Lincoln joins forces with a rogue trillionaire inventor extreme fighting champion from the future. Together with the aid of Rick, their super crime-fighting high-tech talking rickshaw, they'll bring hope, justice, and varying degrees of aquaticness to a tri-state area in peril. Together, they are... Doof and Paws! Tonight's episode, Ham on Rye, Hold the Mayor. You know, in the future, we won't sit and read newspapers in the morning. Instead, giant robots will control us in human death matches. Well, that gives us something to look forward to. Good morning, team. What's up, Ricky? I've detected some strange out-of-character behavior from our mayor recently, which has me concerned. Here he is from a news report a year ago. Notice how he waves. It goes side to side, see? Again, side to side. Now, here's footage from just two days ago. Watch. See, his hand goes up, and then he transforms into a wolf with fiery red eyes and runs howling into the misty night. Now that you mention it, that is unusual for him. We've got to somehow get close to the mayor and find out what's going on. We're gonna need a turban and a wig. And while I'm out, I'm gonna pick up some bagels. Anyone else want anything? Thank you for auditioning, but we're looking for something a little more dazzling for the mayor's ball. No, wait! We can dazzle! We can! I will now saw the amazing platadini in half. See? See? Platypuses. They like butter. Mayor. We got this surveillance photo from the wig and turban supply store. It's Doofenbus. And now, Platapadabra! Oh, very impressive, Dr. Doofenshmirtz and Perry the Platypus. Now it's my turn to make you disappear. Oh no, ninja vampires! I hate these guys! <laughs> He's good. I picked the wrong day to stop carrying garlic scented throwing stars. We now return to. Doof and Puss! Well, what did you expect? It was like 20 of them against one and two halves of us. Look, it's the mayor! Get him! Knock it off! I'm the real mayor. That other guy is a shapeshifter posing as me. You know, that's funny. You know, even while I was attacking you, I was thinking, why did he tie himself up in a dark closet with us? What, what kind of a plan is that? Oh, you freed yourself with your amazing magician skills. And also scissors. And now, to present his various new pro ninja vampire laws, here he is, the totally, for real, mayor. Freeze, punk fake mayor guy! You want me? You come get me! Oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Okay, what? You can't just throw a giant monster into a story because you're stuck for an ending. It's lazy. It's lazy writing. <laughs> uh, on second thought, I love it! You may have tied me up next to this, what is this, a beaver or something? And, and, and pitched me a TV series against my will, not to mention holding up the autograph line, but my advanced TV executive instincts tell me your show is going to be a big hit. Yes! I'm going to have my own show on television! And then all of these fans will be so enamored of me, they will do my bidding. <laughs> it's actually happening. I am going to rule the Tri-State Area! Just a thought, though. Can we give the platypus a girlfriend? What? Never! Oh, suddenly you know my character's better than me? Forget it. I'm no sellout. I just crassly calculated commercial appeal in a mad quest for financial gain. No, no. My, my artistic integrity and I are out. Peace! We now return to the platypus and his girlfriend. Now, Mr. Mayor, I will saw the amazingly handsome platadini in half. <laughs> Ah, he was right. This is better. I should have sold out. <laughs> <laughs>